earbuds in to make sure they don't have Little feedback there. We are live again, everybody. Uh, we're going to give a little a, a little bit of time here before we actually kick off the show. Uh, we got a little music going here, and then we'll let people file in here. Joining us on social media, Facebook.com slash Edgewater Race. Of course, you can catch the replays over there on the YouTube channel, the Edgewater Sports Park YouTube channel. Hey, we're doing a little different this week. And, uh, we'll, we'll explain that's been a, a very busy week for everybody. We're looking forward to the holiday weekend, and we'll give it just a little bit of time here. Hey, if you're out there, if you're already joining us in the chat, hey, we know a lot of people might be in transition, uh, try to get out of work early for the holiday weekend. He might be already on your way down to Edgewater, uh, as Rob and I will each shortly be doing ourselves, making our way down to the track for tonight's festivities, uh, getting some in for a big weekend. Hey, but if you're joining us here, all right, we're hitting... Uh, that doesn't mark. We usually get a few dozen with us live throughout the show. It's growing and growing each and every week. But as always, you know, be sure to to give us a like and give us a share. Get that out on your timeline. If you're joining us through the show, leave a comment. David Kurt already over in the in the comments. He's ready to go to so see y'all in a few hours. He's going to be ready to rock and roll. Hey, we, we've got quite a few with us, so we'll get some things going here. We'll be back on the other side of the countdown with the, uh, the official, this week's official episode of the Edgewater Race Report. Everybody, hey, it is Friday, TGI after TGIF edition. It is Friday, May 26th, the Edgewater Race Report. I am Rick Vickery, as always, joined by Mr. Rob Winley. Rob, I think you know, very fitting to kick off this week's uh, episode. Lights, camera, action, some brand new yes. lights to behold yes. there at the track. Well, I can't say they're new LED scoreboards, but we've... Uh... We cleaned the place out. We bought the bulbs from uh, 140 of them replaced with LED bulbs. And then uh, next time we need to rent the man lift again, uh, we will replace the rest of those with LED uh -oh. bulbs. So make them a little bit brighter. And hopefully they um, last a little longer. They say they're going to, you see the three times and two times longer in my personal experience is BS. Uh, but we're going to get those LED bulbs in there and get it rolling. Uh, we've got our boards back from Dactronics. We've got uh, printers reprogrammed. Uh, we've got, you know, three spare printers now. We've got PA system repaired. We've got dialing boards are fine. Everything's uh, A-OK -okay. and we're, we're praying. We turn everything back on this evening and they're just perfect as they were uh, on Wednesday night. Uh, that is awesome. Continuing with the with the upgrades, the, the improvements week in, week out, whatever the case might be. But this time, turning our attention towards the electronics. I know it greatly needed. Uh, so great to hear that, that we're getting the upgrades underway there. Yep. Yeah, it's just tough. The, um, you know, Dactronics dropped the ball for us last week with uh, getting the motherboard fixed. And then uh, it was a uh, cabling issue with the printer. Uh, we have multiple printers. We have backup computer we have a second we have two uh scoreboards we have backups on all of our timing stuff so we we practically have two complete timing systems you know that have been our brand new within the last uh three four years uh did not you know we're working on now i, I guess we need to get uh doubles on our cabling too to make sure uh that stuff uh, doesn't have an issue as well. You would think it's only three, four years old that uh, you wouldn't have the problem. But hey, this is uh, the way of life nowadays. Uh, absolutely. Just uh, continuing to upgrade across the board. I, I'm going on people DM and DM and me. Phone calls coming in. But hey, what's important is, uh, again, the Edgewater Race Report, uh, a little different Friday. We're just a few hours away from opening gates. What is going to be a spectacular Memorial Day weekend celebration? Uh, but Rob, as we do on the show here each and every week, before we move forward, 
we like to take a look back at the last yes. week's big winners. And now I know that you know there were some struggles getting through the weekend, as you mentioned, some scoreboard issues yep. there and all that. But hey, just, just like we always do at Edgewater, we, we keep it rolling, baby. Uh, so we had some big time winners, some big time races uh, as, as they were looking, you know, on the quest for that winner circle. Yes, uh, Saturday was one of those crazy days. We had four oil downs, uh, two of them as big as you can possibly get <laughs> side to side the entire racetrack. Um, just there's no quick way of doing that. Set us back on time wise, but uh, we did everything we could to get them finished. I think we finally finished around 2.25 a.m. when uh, the temperature was getting a little too close uh, to the dew point uh to make to keep things safe so we got down to three in pro uh six in super pro and then we finished up sportsmen and juniors so got as far uh, as we could possibly take it and still keep the racers safe uh that, that is good do we have those winners with us that, that we, we yes we definitely do um in sportsmen we had uh out of lawrenceburg indiana we have kurt mcclure just getting a uh, a better light on Brian Hendrickson, the champ, um, taking the win in Sportsman, and then uh, starting off a big weekend for Liam Carpenter. Liam Carpenter. Liam Carpenter um, hits an incredible point zero one one on the tree to take the win over an impressive point zero two three from Lexus Trout in Juniors. Uh, starting himself off on a, on a big weekend. Congratulations to both uh, Lexus and Liam to getting there in the finals and uh, Brian and Kurt McClure in the finals of uh, Sportsman. It was a long race and tiring and uh, get to that point and congratulations for making it that far. That, that is that is awesome. Uh, and do we have any... Do, or do, do, I'm looking back here on my notes. We, that was Saturday's runs. We were doing yeah, that was Saturday. And, you know, Saturday, of course, we... Um, uh, we have guaranteed payouts, and we had over 75 cars in Super Pro, so we pay down another round. So uh, nice payouts. Even though they had a split at six, there was still a nice payout for everybody. Um, Pro was a nice turnout as well. Uh, had a great uh, great day of racing on Saturday. If you take away uh, the printer and uh, the scoreboard issue and, uh, of course, the OL down. So. Uh, Track very, very nice. Yeah. Oh, I lost Rob here again real quick. Hopefully he'll be able to uh, maybe just a slight disconnection. Uh, I know he is still connected. There he is. There we go. There we go. There we go. Streaming off the phone right now and uh, got a phone call coming in, so I had to get rid of that. And Sunday, 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 only at Edgewater. Big, big day. I'm going to start off with juniors again. As I was saying, Liam Carpenter, was working himself a, into a big a, weekend. Uh, yes, a big weekend. He had the clean sweep. And uh, Gavin Nagley gave gave it all he could there in the finals. Uh, was holding a little bit back too much and uh, ended up breaking out by 0.02 and handing that win to uh, to Liam. They both had almost dead on the same, uh, same reaction time. And uh, I'm, I'm sure those two battled out there at the finish line and uh, ultimately Liam took the win for the clean sweep over the weekend. Congratulations to uh, to Liam and uh, for Gavin for making it to the finals on Sunday. I was say, uh, such a such an incredible rarity to go back-to-back -back like that in a weekend. Back-to-back, -back, yeah, it's awesome. I did, it's great to see these kids. Um, uh, there's different names every week in the finals and runners-up, and it's great to see them in there, and it's good to see uh, – see them have something like this they can talk about they won both days over the whole weekend uh and uh just invincible every run uh, round after round all weekend long so congratulations well, a, per a perfect way to kick off summer as school comes to an oh, end yeah oh yeah yeah there's, there's not many people in the big cars that uh, can do that so uh congratulations to liam and then we got uh in sportsman Couple different people made it to the finals this time. It was Bob Dawes and Mr. Rob Nixon in the finals. Um, both of them pretty good, uh, pretty good on the tree. Bob Dawes had a little bit better at a .022 on the tree as reaction time. Uh, it was a double breakout, and Rob breaks out by less a .04 to uh, Bob's point. 
06 breakout to take the win in Sportsman. Very nice. Very, uh, another closely contested race there. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's, it's good to see that and uh, see that kind of racing and see the double breakout and one by a little bit less to take that win. Uh, where's my pro? All right. In pro, we've got Mr. Mr. Kyle Feeback and Chris Walters in the finals. Uh, Midnight Blue Mustang for, uh, for Kyle. A uh, little too quick uh, on the trigger. Uh, red lights by .02, handing that win to Chris Walters. And the, and the uh, oh, God, I just hate to mess up and say that to Malibu. Uh, I think it's Monte Carlo, but I don't have the picture in front of me. Uh, congratulations, uh, Chris, on that big win. And uh, Kyle for making it all the way down, taking up the, the, the runner-up monies. And then on the Super Pro, scoreboards or no scoreboards, I think uh, had less to overanalyze and think too much about uh, there in the finals. We saw Ashley Cook and Adam Trout, both of them great reaction times on the tree, 0 0.025 for Ashley and a 0 0.016 for Adam. Uh, puts together a slightly better package, takes the win in Super Pro for the big money on Sunday. Congratulations, Adam and Ashley. Uh, great racing. Great racing to watch all day on Sunday. Uh, that That is awesome. Uh, of course, you know, hey, you have to deal with some of those. Uh, Kurt saying he's, he's weighing in. Give us a little help. It was a cutlass. Oh, yep. Sorry. <laughs> I, I just saw my way of looking at the pictures, and uh, there we go. Hey, yep. say, hey that's, hey, that's the Me. involvement that we need from the chat, you know, to help us yeah. out here. And me being a car guy, I should, uh, you know, I should be able to know that. <laughs> I, I can tell you, you know, see him tell you what year they are. Come on. So, all right. Maybe there's a little too uh, much pressure there. So, so a good weekend of racing to be had uh, this this past weekend. But, of course, you know, now at this time is each and every week. It, it, it's weekend, week out. Uh, you keep flipping through this calendar. We have got this stack schedule all season long. Uh, but, of course, this is really a big one. You know, this, this kind of welcomes in summer. Uh, such a yeah. tremendous holiday as we remember and pay honor uh, and salute those that have given yes. uh, their all for this country, yes. serving, uh, you know, if it be in any branch of the military, any walk of the military. Uh, but we are so thankful for their service. And, you know, really maybe inside of a, a sport in the racing world, maybe the most patriotic uh, of the groups when, when you look at major sports. Oh, I agree 100%. Um, uh, you know, your racers are just, the, especially the core of your drag racers, just great people, hardworking people, really small salt business of, owners, salt, you know. salt of the earth people. Um, never a problem at the racetrack. Everybody uh, helps everybody out and always a great time and one big family. And everybody's just got that one goal uh, in mind, and that's to go fast and to win. So. It's great to see all the competitors and all the fun. And, you know, like you, uh, talking to a racer the other day, it said, my happy place is at the racetrack. So uh, that's what we'd like to see. And, uh, you know, it's a great Memorial Day weekend, and uh, we'll have a great time here. I was gonna say, I'm sure we're going to see a lot of red, white, and blue. Uh, there'll be a lot of emotion, especially, you know, to go out on, on such an incredible weekend, the holiday, what it, what it stands for, to go out and get those big wins. Uh, but, Rob, we've got three big days of racing. Of course, Monday is the actual holiday Memorial Day. We're going to let everyone take that off to enjoy cookouts and be with be with friends and family. Yes. But, uh, but hey, be with friends and family. That's what the track is also all yes, about. Yes, exactly. But things are going to be getting going. In just a few hours, we have got two new tests. Yes, and it's going to happen on a Friday. We're getting back-to-back -back Friday tune and test. Hey, but in addition to that, we, we got a special attraction tonight. We're talking about shootout action. Another phone call. Hey, he is a busy man. People want to talk to Rob. They are, you know, <laughs> oh, one, one, he, he one is more time. in demand. He is in <laughs> demand. People are calling in. Uh, but Rob, you know, a special attraction tonight. In addition to the tune and test, we have got shootout action for the big cars and the juniors. Yes, we do. We've got a 32-car shootout for big cars. It is an um, all-run as well, so sportsmen, not sportsmen, but pro and super pro can get in it. Uh, last time I checked, we had nine spots left in our, our big car shootout and two spots in our junior shootout. So 
let's get those filled up and have a great time and you know get three days of racing if you want to get them in I say, you know, that's going to be mixed in there with uh, with our regular runs there for the tuna test. So you're going to have a little bit of a variety there. You're going to see kind of the, the novice, uh, you know, people coming in just to enjoy themselves, see what they can get done on the track. Then we're going to have that, that great shootout competition again, big car and junior shootouts here this evening. And of course, that's just setting the table for Saturday and Sunday, the Memorial Day weekend, two day race. We got some big payouts and uh, we're looking at some big fields here. It's correct. Yeah, yeah, nice payouts. We've got uh, three grand to win both days in Super Pro. Um, a little nicer payout in uh, Pro and Sportsman as well, and Juniors. Uh, got a real nice payout for Juniors. So uh, bring your parents down and let's have a great time. So, all right, now, Rob, uh, I, as I've seen here, you can get in both of these days, right? For just uh, 140? Yeah, for Super Pro. Yeah, small entry, nice payouts. Uh, don't have to uh, strip that's that's, your, yeah, you can, uh, your you wallet can, you can there. And, and, that's uh, why I was going to say. I was getting to the point. Yeah. I think it's a, a fair price all weekend to get a lot of racing yes. in for the holiday. Yeah, yeah, decent payouts, and without uh, uh, having to break out the credit card to uh, to pay the bills on your racing. So, uh, very nice. Now, Rob, well, let's go through. Take me back to to Friday. Uh, well, there's a couple hours here. Uh, give me the details on gates when we're running till all the good stuff across the board here for the weekend. Yeah, we've got gates open at five o'clock. Uh, track's going to be ready to go at five 30. Uh, just confirmed with Ricky. He's got it ready. Spray a little glue and get it rolling. We're going to get going at five 30. Uh, we have one time run in our shootouts tonight at uh, 7 PM and eliminations to follow. Uh, we're gonna be open to at least 11 tonight for time runs. I wanna make sure all the people that are coming uh, coming out to test get, get some hits on the track and it is an open uh, testing as well for all tire types. And go a little bit later, the weather is awesome outside, beautiful. Can't, uh, can't ask for anything more. It's gonna be a great night of racing. Uh, uh, Jennifer Wiley weighing in here. Watch yes. the race. This is the first round lounge open at 5 30. What a beautiful view over there yeah, on first, Tower side. Full service bar. Yeah, first round lounge is going to be open till one o'clock tonight. And uh, as late as actually one o'clock or so on Saturday night, as long as we've got the patrons in there, we'll stay a little later on Saturday nights. Uh, it's going to be a great day. Uh, Great time, the best view of the racetrack from the first round lounge. We also are going to have a first time ever. We're going to have uh, breakfast last brunch on Sunday morning. Ooh, wow. Uh, yes. Chef Jeff's going to be in uh, right there uh, at the main concession in a little food trailer we've got, making some great breakfast favorites uh, starting at 8 a.m. And we'll go till 11 or when we run out of food. So oh, very, and, very, very cool. Yes. Uh, so now back here, we're talking about those gate times. They're going to be getting going tonight here. A couple hours at 5 p.m. We're going to have extended runs this evening till we're going yes. to at least 11 p.m. To make sure that, yeah. that we can get in everybody before they get their tuna test runs in. In addition to the shootout uh, tomorrow, just a reminder, Saturday, we are on summer hours, right? So gates are a yes, little bit are. later. Yeah, gates are a little bit later, but uh, because we have the big weekend, they are at 11 a.m. And track gets going at uh, 1230 for junior time runs. Let me make sure verify that. Make sure that's not noon. All right. It, might, the, the, it might be the, noon for a slight, uh, slight adjustment there. Uh, expecting a, a large turnout uh, yes. for the, the two-day Memorial Day weekend. So did you get that? Are we at noon for juniors? or We, know we got gates at 11, so be there as soon as you can. Yeah. yeah, we got gates at 11, and I'm pretty sure the juniors get started at noon. Want to get a jump on the day since we have a nice, uh, nice turnout. Uh, and uh, get things going, be a long day of racing and a fun day of racing. Uh, absolutely. Eight. Then you said Sunday. For Sunday, those that are staying Sunday, with us. Sunday. Sunday, fun day for those that are staying with us. We're going to have breakfast available early for those that are just arriving on Sunday. What time are yep. gates? Gates open at 9 a.m. Uh, new entries to the track time run at 1030 and eliminations to follow. Very, very nice. Uh, well, Rob, hey. In addition to, uh, I think it's pretty cool. We got the, the breakfast coming at you on Sunday. We got the shootout from shootouts to uh, Sunday breakfast. We, we, we've got it all covered this weekend. Big, three big days here. Uh, again, tuna test gets going tonight with the, the big and the junior shootouts. We got the two day Memorial weekend celebration race. Uh, 
first round lounge. We've got food on the grounds. We've got the the finish line gift shop. You can get all yes. that oh so sweet edge all water new. swag. All new swag, bunch of new hats, shirts, uh, all kind of cool new stuff. We uh, got through all of our boxes of stuff and finally found our kids stuff. So come on up. We got our kids stuff, kids shirts and things ready for those uh, as well. So come on and visit the gift shop this weekend and uh, hang out the first round lounge. Come have some uh, some breakfast with us at, at the uh, at the patio out in front of the concession and uh, enjoy your Sunday morning while we get started. All right, Rob, I I'm excited for us. Uh, I know we're both going to be on our way. We need to be making our way towards the track here shortly. Uh, so we'll send things home for this week's episode of the Edgewater Ridge Report. Anything that you'd like to add before we get out of here? Get here. <laughs> have fun. fun. <laughs> it's got a weekend. We got every all, all the, the little... Uh, had some issues last weekend. I, you know, it always seems like it rains and pours every, right now. Fingers crossed. Looks like everything's going to be perfect this weekend. Uh, Ricky's going to have the track on point. It's going to be a lot of great racing, hopefully minimal on the oil downs and don't have a whole lot of issues and have smooth sailing over the weekend. Absolutely. Hey, again, while you're out visiting us this weekend and every race day, Hey, we, we want to see that you're here. Let the world know you're at Edgewater. Uh, and share your experiences on social media. Share those those photos and those videos. Check in at Edgewater. Tag us in your posts. We'll try to share those out yeah. there. Uh, but it helps us. Let everyone know what good of a time you're having there, and they need to be a part of it. And please, please support our sponsors because we uh, we can't do without. Um, State Line Restaurant is is awesome. You get out there. They've got great hats they got a really cool t-shirt that uh um i absolutely love um the motors brewing company i can't talk enough about keith sperling and and how awesome that group is and everything that he does um, um he's responsible for so much legwork for the uh the uh, uh the pink ribbon girls benefit at the end of the year uh support that company it's an awesome company great beer to boots and uh, all of our other great sponsors, Surf Pro and, and Ken Herbert Plumbing and O'Reilly's and Rim Time and Northgate Chrysler, Jeep Dodge and Ram, support these guys that support us. And uh, Speaking of, that winter circle coming together, looking nice. Yes. Uh, with yes, all the great sponsors some, behind there. Yeah, we still have uh, some space left on it if anybody wants to get on the winter circles. Uh, we've got some space on those. And as you know, they're in every single picture, and especially with the juniors, there's about 95 people in each uh, in each photo. With the, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but photos are always full with people for juniors, so it's great. They spread them on Facebook and Instagram and and who knows, Twitter, TikTok, whatever whatever they, it is. They got to so cover. You get you get your name in lights right there with the, with the winners and spread out to everybody each and every week. So come support us. Um, reach out to me if you want to get a spot on the uh, the winner circles, and uh, we'll go from there. Yeah, you, can, you can reach Rob. Easiest way to do that, you just head on over to facebook.com slash Edgewater Race. Just send a direct message, and someone will be in contact with you about the sponsorship. But again, we are getting set. It is Friday afternoon, TGIF, shootouts. Tune in test tonight, getting set for Saturday and Sunday, the Memorial Weekend two-day race. Uh, for Rob, as we said here, we, we got to get moving. Uh, we got Everybody yeah. else get moving down. Yes. We're going to see you in a couple hours. Yes, first round lounge is open. Uh, come see my niece, Jenny. Um, it's going to be the best view of the house. We're going to have brunch on Sunday, get together with brunch. Uh, great weekend, a lot of fun, and uh, can't wait for it to happen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, for uh, Rob Wiley, I am Rick Vickery. And tonight and through the weekend, we will see you at the track. At the track. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. Let's